Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team, and today I have a fun little calendar book to share with you today. It's a 2016 calendar, and I have um, binded it with my cinch using one inch silver rings. I use chipboard for the front and back cover. I use the beautiful Graphic 45 Gilded Lily collection that I got from Cut at Home. And um, I did not film the making of this book because it was very time consuming. I did film the decoration of the front cover, which I will play after I flip through the book here. But I basically used a cut apart or I cut a, a piece out of the paper collection here and backed it with some of the DCWV glitter paper in silver. I fussy cut out a title here that says Gilded Lily. I added some beautiful wild roses and hip rose buds and some white and also some baby pink and green leaves. I added some paper leaves that I had in my stash and then I added some of the glitter balls which are my favorite to use on a project. I added some of the white flat back pearls throughout and I also added a cabochon tucked in here. I love how the cover turned out. So when you open it, on the front here I used a tag from the Gilded Lily collection and inside has a um, journaling piece. I love this, so beautiful. This, it says it's not easy being a princess and that just tucks in here so it's great to add journaling too. Same with here. On the front here I cut out um, several layers so it's very thick of the number 2016 and I added all the papers from the collection. Some of them I used some edge die cuts on. So here's this beautiful collection. And every page, or excuse me, every month has a tabbed page. And I use this beautiful font that I bought from the Silhouette Online store. This says January. I added a little tree with some snowflakes on it. And then it has the 2016 calendar, a spot for birthdays, and a spot for either more birthdays or notes. And I did the same thing throughout. So I added the decorative paper, which photos can be added to this. February, it has little hearts. These are all on craft paper. And then I have the month of February along with the birthdays. Here is a four by six card from the Gilded Lily collection. Another decorative paper with a decorative edge. March says happy St. Patrick's Day. I have March's calendar and birthdays. Here's another piece from the collection. I used a scallop edge punch on it. So once this is done, this would make for a great keepsake for the month of, um, or for the year of 2016. This one has April with a little bunny on it. May, I have some beautiful little flowers. I have another of the 4x6 ephemera cards. Another scalloped edge decorative paper. June, it has a little mason jar with flowers. June's calendar and birthdays. July has a little stars banner. Another decorative piece of paper. This is great for journaling as well. August, it has these cute little daisies on it. Another piece of the pattern paper. September, it says happy little moments. Another 4x6 card. I love this collection. It was really hard for me to cut into this collection. This paper is so beautiful. October, we have a black cat. November, we have a pie that says give thanks. Another of the 4 by 6 December, we have a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. 
and one last piece of the decorative paper and here is the back. So I hope you've enjoyed this book. This was really fun to make and if you'd like to see the um, process of decorating the front cover please stay tuned and check out the links below. I'll have all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts. I hope you stop by their channel. They have new Christmas stuff listed. They, they're constantly listing new stuff so I hope you stop by and check out Wild Orchid Crafts. Thanks for watching.